Marco, welcome to this week's health tip. So today I'm going to be uh, giving you a brief video on something that we call BDNF. That stands for Brain Drive Neurotrophic Factor. So that's just something really important in your brain that helps your brain neurons remain healthy or to adapt, to differentiate, to make sure that they're doing the right things in the right places and to keep them healthy. And it's made in different areas of the brain that are good for like your concentration, for long-term memory, hippocampus, frontal cortex, different areas. It's also produced in your eyes and some say in the kidneys and other, other areas in your body. It's really important for maintaining uh, brain health basically, especially if you've had injuries. It's good for you know making sure the other areas around it and other neurons can pick up and make sure they do a good job. So some of the uh, sort of lifestyle things that can help this, but I'm going to talk about a couple of nutritional things that are kind of interesting, some just foods that help this. But typically people know the biggest thing that improves this would be exercise. So moving your body is super important to keep your brain healthy. We know that, you know, for, for as long as you've been around, we know that exercise is important for brain health. So that's one of the biggest things that influences this. Other things that will improve BDNF as well would be things like uh, getting good sunlight, uh, sunlight in your eyes, sunlight on your skin, which is really important for so many things. Uh, sometimes uh, intermittent fasting and periods of fasting, so letting your body just um, you know think that it needs to recover. And intermittent fasting is good for so many things, just giving your body time to repair, and that helps this as well. Uh, proper sleep, sometimes restricting, restricting your sleep can actually do it sometimes too. Uh, different things like that. Um, but there's a, there's a few foods that actually just eating them helps to increase this as well. So wouldn't that be great? So kind of across the board, one of the things we know is really important for your brain health is something called the wild blueberries. Uh, f uh, fruits or um, that, that sort of are grown or they have to survive sort of like temperate climates and need to be resilient. They're really good for giving you resilience in your body too. So like things that can grow like, you know, on the edge of a mountain or against cold rocks or when there's like heat and fire and all that kind of stuff and they can still survive and produce fruit there, they, they're, they're, there's a lot of resilience in the actual uh, fruit, right? So having wild blueberries growing on, you know, certain areas in the world. Um, so, you know, organic is really important. It's good if you get organic blueberries, but some of those might be grown on hydroponic plants and things like that where they're not really out of the ground. But if you can get good wild organic uh, blueberries that aren't sprayed with pesticides or herbicides, which is really be important, get those clean ones. A good clean source of blueberries is super important for your brain health. And it's, it's important for a lot of other things, even getting you know, like heavy metals and stuff out of your brain and different parts of your body is super important for that. So half a cup, even a cup of wild blueberries. You can keep them frozen in your freezer. Uh, you can go to Costco, they have some really good ones that are like wild boreal blueberries, uh, non-pesticide sprayed. Sometimes even right now in uh, certain of the bigger chain stores, they actually have organic wild blueberries. They're, they're, they're kind of the smaller ones. They're not like the big plump ones, but they're smaller, they're frozen. Uh, keep those on hand all the time. Throw them in your shakes. You can just uh, take them out of the freezer at night, maybe you know as a late night snack or something. Half a cup of those, just really awesome. And there's a couple of other fruits. Um, one of them I like is pomegranate. So pomegranate is just a mental process to kind of appeal those things and get the little things out and have those. That's kind of like a fun exercise in itself, getting pomegranate. Uh, some people even say red grapes as well. One of the other important factors for BDNF is actually a social connection. Uh, there was a big study in the United States. They went to this uh, community where you know guys were drinking and smoking and apparently doing all the things that would have caused uh, bad health. But they found that their heart disease rates were low and just chronic illness, everything was really low. And it basically was an Italian community that it kind of came over to the States. They all kept the same connections. They all kept their friends. They all built houses together. They all played cars together. And so there was all that community, that connection. That sort of connection is really important to keep your brain healthy too. And, you know, fortunately a lot of people are lonely and they don't have help and they don't have friends. And that just causes this, you know, the brain just starts to shut down when there's nothing to connect to. So do the best you can, call up somebody you haven't called in a while, connect with your friends again, go through a list and say, you know, I haven't called so-and-so in a while, give them a call and just, just say, I'm just calling just to connect again. So just do that and uh, try to get out, try to get into social situations, whatever you can, all of that can help improve your brain. Try a new sport, a new hobby, just get, your, get yourself out there. And of course, one of the other important things we always say, Doing proper chiropractic care is going to put proper stimulation through the spine, up into the brain. It's going to keep your neurons firing and keeping them healthy. The most, one of the most important things for your brain is regular stimulation coming in from movement of the joints in your spine. So we make sure your spine is working properly. We do it with the zone technique. We do it with network spinal analysis, regular chiropractic. We do it all to make sure your brain is top notch. 
So if you're not in a chiropractic care, look for one close to you. And if you're near us, please give us a call. We'd like to help. 905-477-8900 is the number to call. That's your health tip for this week. We look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Please share the video. And we'll see you next time.